Hello, my friends, you beautiful souls. This is a bit of a victory video. And where I am right now, I'm house sitting again. I was here in June and I just got this. Share the sun, share the space, share the serenity. And I really want to catch this date. So it's a time stamp, but I don't know when it'll be up because I have some ceremony videos of walking the sacred path from not only when I was here the first time in June that fell on the summer solstice, but just recently on 8-8 and the Lion's Gate. This calendar, for those that don't know, I've been uh, passed on stewardship for the trumpeter swans that are native to Ontario. And this picture was taken last year on 8-8. And then the 13th, I don't know if you can see it, scribbled out, and it says, I won! I won! That was a date set for court to fight my disability that was denied the first time, but awarded in July. Magic miracle. And the quote for August is, in Navajo tradition, the great white swan can call up the four winds. The great spirit will use swans to work its will. Well, the swans have definitely been working through me. And on a side note, I don't even know if I'll get a calendar done this year because I need stability first. So looking for a home, which is part of some of my videos to bring awareness of, uh, of how critical it is. But anyways, at the same time, I'm sharing serenity. So I have a, this cape <laughs> that I wore for the summer solstice. And then I did a video on spiritual retribution. I'm going to put it on again. And I want to actually dedicate this video as well to some males that have been coming into my life in 2019. This is beautiful. Inside, lovely inside. <clears throat> so since 2019, there have been some males ages 7 to 74. <clears throat> Excuse me while I have a drink of water here. So first off, sharing the space is 12-year-old Henry, who his mother actually took her yoga teacher training with me when I used to live in Ontario. And then I went to BC and I hadn't seen her. And I saw her in 2016. I had a vision of Henry. I'd never met him and described the vision. And then when, and his mom, my friend whose place I'm staying at and have stayed at, right this summer so three weeks three weeks of solitude and i'm just starting three weeks now oh and he looks exactly like my vision but he's so wise he's so wise i'm learning a lot from him also jacob 
Cherie, who's uh, in these videos with me recently on our great and holy adventure, <laughs> staying in different places last week. Um, her grandson. And that coincides with the synchronicity of Mr. Soul and Mrs. Soul's main swan, whose name is Jacob. And he's the father and grandfather from the area where I'm renting, but it's um, an abusive place. And now with disability, I can actually maybe look for a bachelor instead of a room with someone else. So if you don't know my story, it's been, uh, this will be my 12th move since I've been back from BC and I've lived with people and wow. <laughs> wow. So let me just, uh, so I was writing some, some stuff down today. The lessons and blessings of a grandmother warrior, warrior of the rainbow. My pathway in 2019, January to August. So dedicating this video to all the males who've entered and re-entered my life this year. And the support began with my son, who is on my side opposed to my daughter, who was in denial. I was ill. So I see my son is my soul family and my daughter is karma, right? My granddaughter is my soul family as well. But now I'm liberated with this understanding. <sighs> so Henry, Daniel, Jacob, Alex, there's a video of Alex and I uh, doing an interview when I was first looking for a place. So I, I found out mid-March I had to move, June 1st. And so three days before I had to move, a uh, place was found, but um, it's not safe. It's very, the woman, the room I'm renting from the woman, she's dangerous to herself, her house, and me. <laughs> So, community has stepped up. Anyways. Then we have uh, John. And recently, James. I'm kind of going in, in order here. So, James, you're going to meet very shortly. I keep talking about him. <laughs> uh, that I, uh, Sheree and I just met. And Rocky. I love that name, Rocky. Oh. Yeah, it really has been a, a warrior path this year to fight for my rights to heal and live. So there might be a few tears here because the sad part of being true to my path and this video channel was actually set up just after my granddaughter was born and our hearts beat as one. So, there's just been so much learning in 10 years since this video has been going. And the, the heartbeat of it is about oneness. And I just want to share this bit because there's, there's so much on my video, uh, on my channel. Um, especially about the Rainbow Warrior and... So, I will be repurposing my first book, 
and on Grandparents' Day, I was reading the end of this book to my granddaughter because she got into the end of the writing. And so it's based on Woman's Way to Play Golf with a lot of um, respect for Mother Earth. And it was from my own creations, how to become a golf goddess and, and not just my creation, but co-creation with the goddesses. So in chapter 18, which was the void, <laughs> and I was, or the zone, and I was writing about how uh, it was Wayne Dyer's favorite number, it's one with the eight, is one with infinity. He has or had the same birthday as me. And then my daughter, my yeah, my daughter went into labor, and my granddaughter was born nine days early on the number 18. Anyways, I will link the video, so I, I'm not going to reread it again. But um, she came to me and my daughter before she was born, and for many years I was in B.C., so it was a long distance relationship right from the beginning. So, you know, I can pull on those knowings, those certainties, those memories that even though I'm not connected with her physically right now, our hearts still are. And as I continue to heal, it will filter down to her as well. So... There is a sadness at the core, and now there's all the, these these young men and males that are filling that void and coming together. And you know there is like over seventy videos for Caitlin for record keeping because this this was you know. Um, like I got to watch her grow up through Skype, which helped my heart. I don't know how grandparents did it before without technology. And um, there was all we were just always in sync. So many examples. So one right off the top of my head. Um, I remember seeing a snake and I was reading about it and then we Skyped and she just got a toy snake like and this is always it's symbology and that's it this this book is filled with how to read nature how to connect with nature for four hours and read the signs and symbols so anyways I um I'm humbled, even though the physical is changing, I hope to uh, continue to inspire you with my journey, because it's, it's not about gaining tons of viewers, it is about walking in community so there's definitely the patron, the patron saints who get the videos like, so for example, there is a tear under ceremony because when you, the, the tagline of this book is embrace sacred play and unlock the hero within. Well, I could also say the magic. So that's where I stay true to myself, and even the book reflects it because it's about the seasons and the directions. And you can search through my channel, and it doesn't matter what's been going on, how many changes I've gone through, I've stayed true to doing ceremony for over 20 years. Only 10 has been documented. But, as I was saying, you know, I, um, I'm keeping more of it 
sacred now. And part of it is because I got sick. I got sick giving so much of myself, so many pieces. And, um, you know, but also protecting my friends. So some of the summer solstice and some of the 888 will only be exclusive content for the people I trust, you know. Honor some of the places I go, the sacred places I go, and keeping them sacred. So, example of the the sacred rock, right? The people that know and invite others is because they trust them. And for a total example of one video that's coming when when James showed up and I interviewed him. That's of sorts, and that's what you'll see on YouTube. But when the three of us are drumming, that goes over to Patreon one of these days because um, I do have internet now. The place that I'm renting, I'm going to air, and there is no internet. But, anyways, I'm, I'm getting off point here. Sacred, secret, prayer. Those who want to stay on the path, and, it, and James has stayed on the path since he was eight. So even though we were, seemed like we were walking separately, alone, we finally met up this year. So, um... That's all I'm going to say. There's a beautiful ebook about the history of the comeback of the Trumpeter Swans. You don't have to become a member on Patreon. That's just where it is. And you, it's a PayPal. You get the PayPal link. You can still get the calendar because it's filled with quotes. And, you know, with me not being by the Swans, it's... Uh, It helps my heart to know that they're here. And they were all taken by me. Yeah. Swan is our totem. We can read in here all the meaning and messages as swan as a totem. And why to call upon that beautiful majestic bird. And for me personally, it's leaving the ugly duckling to see myself as a swan, whereas I could see my friends. And as I said to James, <laughs> I'm broken, <laughs> but it's broken open. So deep gratitude. I know I'm just sharing this to a few, but it's the few that are really showing up and helping me hang on and keep going, and especially with my higher power, who is my wisest and truest of true friends. Big love. <laughs>